Thầy tạo sân trí hấp tạo Thầy tụi bán đúng không? Thầy tụi bán đúng không? Thầy Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about aortic regurgitation imaging. So aortic valve regurgitation is a incomplete closure of cast during gestural leading to retrograde blood flow into left ventricle. More common signs and symptoms, chronic aortic vas regurgitation is asymptomatic over a long period until sign of heart failure develop. Other signs and symptoms this like the crescendo gastric murmur. Acute aortic regurgitation immediate sign of severe left heart failure due to volume overload. Chronic aortic regurgitation can be shown the sign, progressive sign of the left heart failure. Infectious endocarditis can exacerbate its symptom. A, a, a variable age manifestation depends on etiology, prevalent around 4.9% Increase prevalent with age, 8.5% female and 13% male and 54 years of age. The etiology is secondary to disease of aortic valve leaflet and or wall of the aortic root, make sure that Aortic regurgitation most common caused by infective endocarditis, ascending aortic dissection, trauma, chronic aortic regurgitation, aortic road, dilatation, rheumatic heart disease, bicuspid valve, area syphilis, valve left leg, sickening, shortening, retraction of one or more left leg, Preparation of one leaflet or vegetation that prevent coaptation of leaflet, traumatic destruction of bicuspid aortic valve leaflet, ascending aorta can be dilatation secondary to degeneration, dissection, hypertension, and infection. The clue for diagnosis is retrograde blood flow into left ventricle by the plagography. In the acute aortic var regurgitation, no ventricle dilatation, pulmonary edema due to volume overload, chronic aortic regurgitation, eccentric left ventricle hypertrophy and dilatation. The latation of ascending aorta and aortic root is common, while classification is uncommon in true aortic regurgitation. Chest radiography in acute can be normal left ventricle sign, can see pulmonary edema. In chronic, minimal to massive left ventricle enlargement, normal pulmonary vasculature until chronic severe left ventricle dysfunction and consec consecutive pulmonary venous hypertension and left arterial enlargement, the dilatation of ascending aorta. Chest X-ray
perform prior to surgery, so the tortious and atherosclerotic aorta and the latation of left ventricle in a patient with known severe aortic regurgitation grade 3. The radiograph of the chest so the latid rounded left ventricle and enlarged cardiac cellate due to isolate left ventricle dilatation and normal pulmonary vasculature consistent with chronic aortic regurgitation. This is a case of 40 years old man. His chest is really demonstrated in large of left ventricle with aortic configuration. Reflect adaptive dilatation seen in aortic recognition. NCT CTA can find aortic road dilatation plus minor ascending aortic aneurysm frequent. Measurement of aortic annulus, maximum sinus of wasawa diameter. Sin Sinotubular junction diameter, evaluation of sinotubular junction effacement, conjugate CTA, incomplete coaptation of ghost of gas during gasto result in regurgitant modify, detect moderate and severe aortic regurgitation can miss mild aortic regurgitation. Classicening classification or vegetation dilated left ventricle in late stage. This CTA made so incomplete coaptation of aortic cast, which result in regurgitant orify leading to severe aortic insufficiency, inset axial oblique image, so a Ficus with bar with fuse, rye and non coronary cast. This is the MO image. So the first thing it is ten in left and the court have track with a recuperation fraction of 59% consistent with severe recuperation. Also note the severe dilatation or aortic root measurement up to 62.4 cm. This is the CT of gotcha. So the tricuspid valve with second cast and central valvular mal coaptation is finding uh, consistent with degenerative disease and aortic insufficiency. This cardiac CT demonstrate marked aortic root and analyzed dilatation leading to aortic gas marked coaptation causing aortic regurgitation. Aortic root dilatation in one of the most common reasons of chronic aortic regurgitation. This cardiac CT demonstrate light paravalvulus contrast collection and cause venestration and prolapse due to infective endocarditis causing severe aortic regurgitation. This cardiac CT so the double outlet left when you call after damas case stem cell surgery with incomplete 
co-optation of the aortic cusp leading to severe aortic regurgitation. This is this cardiac CT so incomplete close closure of cusp during and just resulting in a recuperative orifice. This cardiac CT so ascending aortic aneurysm and incomplete co-optation of aortic valve cast during just all resulting in recuperation. Note the recuperation chain. Cardiac CT of the aortic valve demonstrate incomplete gastric central co-optation of cast resulting in a triangular leakage area. Kaja CT reveal a central leakage area, also known as the recuperative orify area in a patient with bicuspid aortic valve. This cardiac CT so incomplete just like and very irregular second aortic valve cast in a patient with rheumatic heart disease. In MRI, we can find incomplete coaptation of black lead, just like low voice, Planimetry of effective recuperation or required correlation with recuperation volume and recuperation fraction. When you call the latation in severe chronic aortic recuperation, fast contrast somehow, highly accurate and reproducible qualification of aortic recuperation. Severity of Aortic recuperation, variability, variable measurement from mild to severe. Aortic recuperation volume measured by MO is lower than echo in native value and higher than echo following truncated catheter aortic valve replacement. Hollow gastric flow reversal in descending water indicates severe aortic recuperation. Determine time of surgery, pre and post transthoracic aortic wire replacement evaluation and alternative to CT. This um, or image show just the recuperation jet through left and the out track and so as an eccentric recuperation because of the eccentric location the severity of recuperation could not be evaluated accurately by echography Fast contrast image and flow curve of ascending and descending aorta of the patient. So 50% recuperation traction indicative of severe recuperation. Not hollow cystic systolic reversal flow in descending aorta. Case of 60 years old female. Um, I saw just like jet in left and the call out for track. In echographies. In acute aortic regurgitation, we can see reduced opening motion and Premature closure of valve, delay opening of mitral valve, minimal dilatation of left ventricular cavity with normal function, chronic aortic recuperation can see 
Margaretation of Lacanical cavity with decreased function. Estimate of Lacanical function. A mole. High frequency flutter of anterior mitral valve left flat in direct sign. In color Doppler, most sensitive method for assessment of aortic recapitation. Central or eccentric period retrograde chain. Continued wave of blood, measure of recurvitant jet velocity and calculate of pressure of time. Retrograde diastolic flow in abdominal aorta for severe aortic recurvitation. So this is a transverse of a geo echogram with the blood Color of the over aortic valve in just also just like Doppler recapitation chat originating at the aortic gas mark coaptation sign. This, this echography so the aortic recapitation jet pattern and uh, the part of the recapitation jet. This image so about a pressure half time of more than 500 indicate my recapitation between 2 and 500 moderate and less than 200 is severe recapitation. So on the left top, so the half time pressure is more than 500, so it is mild in the middle low, so the half time pressure around 2 to 500. It is uh, moderate and severe when it's damaged in the right upper. So pressure half time is less than 200. So that is the severe case. So this echocardiography, the uh, apical five chamber view, so the Dilated left ventricle, second anterior mitral left flat, and posterior mitral left flat. In this view also show the aortic jet in large, is large, extending deep into left ventricle, indicating severe aortic recapitation. Sickening of both aortic and mitral left flat indicate the post possible physiology is rheumatic condition. Severe aortic recapitation, echography in parastinal law axis view, so the related left ventricle, left atrium, and left back, and small portion of the right ventricle, which is usually the outflow region, mitral valve left -right seen in the open portion between the left ventricle and left atrium are uh, sickening. The large aortic recapitation chat can be seen as mosaic shed in the left ventricle upper tract anterior to the anterior mitral left Angiographic finding conventional left ventricular glogram recapitation shed in left ventricle following injection or contrast into a aortic root. So A and B image is an geography, so significant recapitation from the uh, ascending aorta to the effect of the right ventricle by way of the dilated C, so the coronary angiography of the right
Carotid artery in the lateral projection, so collateral flow to the circumflex coronary artery. Recommend imaging recommendation. The best imaging tool is echocardiography followed by MR. And also we can use ECG gated cardiac CT. Different salt analysis, aortic root disease, rheumatic or generative calcified heart disease, infective endocarditis, trauma, bipospid valve, and treatment in acute aortic recuperation, intensive, intensive medical management to stop life for aortic valve replacement surgery, five-year survival rate, uh, Five years surgical survival rate, chronic aortic recuperation, medical therapy, antibiotic prophylaxis, vasodilatation, calcium antagonism, arrhythmia control, five years survival rate is around 75%, 10 years survival rate is around 50%. Surgical repair before severe lack of dysfunction is quite Thank you.